Let's take a look how we can flip and mirror poses in Das Studio. Hello everyone, I'm Jay and on this channel we're helping you become better 3D artists with Das Studio. On today's episode I want to show you how to mirror and flip poses or parts of poses, like parts of the posed parts of your character in Das Studio with a handy little tool called Scene Tools by 3D Universe. There are actually three versions or three parts of Scene Tools. This is the product that I'm talking about, Das Studio 4 Scene Tools Set 3 and it's aptly titled Pose Symmetry. This is one of the tools that's available and this is what I'm using all the time and I thought I'd show you how it works. I'm going to leave a link to this product in the description. Here we are in Das Studio. This is my trusty assistant Angela and I'm going to go and pause her in a second. The Scene Tools product comes as part of Das Studio. I like looking for it in all my products here and I'll just look for Scene Tools and I'm going to have to go and uncheck filter by content for it to show up. And here it is. There's three of them on my computer here. This one, if I double click into that and head over to utilities, these are all the little scripts that it comes with. And it also has a convenient function to put all these things up on the toolbar. I've already done that here. If you double click that, then another part on the toolbar will be added. This is a similar script that'll just remove it from your toolbar if you don't want to see this anymore. I don't really tend to use these things. Once something's on my toolbar, I just tend to enable and disable it if and when I need it. And while we're talking about toolbars, maybe I'll show you how I do that just because sometimes you see the other scene tools in my shortcuts tab here. So I head over to window, workspace, and then I head to customize. And then over here on the activities tab, if I expand the advanced section, the toolbar section, I can see that this is set one, this is set two, and this is set three. And if and when I need them, I just enable or disable them. And I basically just leave the things that I have installed on there and then you switch them on and off if and when I need them. Just a total aside there, completely unrelated to the product. So here's how this works. Let me go and give Angela a pause or uh, use power pose for that and just use this to pause the this arm maybe forward and I'll go and use this one to pose the other arm back and maybe you know switch that around a little and I might also this was a bit too much perhaps I'm going to go and put that down a bit like this this is a discernible pause I'm going to do the same with the legs maybe use this to move that leg forward and just move this leg back a little bit just like that so that we have a bit of a discernible pose here so if I go and select the whole figure here then the first item in the toolbar here that flips the whole figure pole. So this mirrors the whole thing. It's kind of a convenience function. If you click that, then this happens. So everything that was on the left is now on the right and back. So that's really handy if you have a pose in which, oh, I don't know, maybe your character has turned to one side and you want for the character to really be looking in the other direction then this is the function that you need it just literally just mirrors everything or swaps everything swaps the left side to the right side we have other convenience functions here afterwards, but they don't seem to work at the time I'm recording this video with Genesis 9. So this product was made for Genesis 3 and 8, where these things work, but for 9 that currently don't work, perhaps as an upgrade in the works, I'll show you a workaround in a minute. The, what this would do on the other figure generations is this one would flip the upper body without the limb, so just the upper torso. This one would flip the arms and the legs, but not the torso. Also, this one would flip just the upper body, including the arms, and this would just flip the legs. And then these two functions here, they will essentially mirror what's on the left hand side over to the right or what's on the right hand side over to the left. So that's what these two functions do at the end here. But I'm not really using these. I'm using these two at the end and they work fine with Genesis 9. So let me show you how they work. Those are essentially either a flip version or a copy version of whatever is selected in the viewport. So let's say I like the way this arm is going and I would like to move that over to the other side. Then I would go and select my arm. I tend to not just select the arm. I tend to select the shoulder. If you ever just grab the arm, then just, you know, go one side step up in the hierarchy here and the functions work like this so this one here goes and flips it so this copies whatever is on the left hand side over to the right and moves whatever was on the right over to the left so it'll go and swap whatever is selected uh, without overwriting it whereas the other version here this one the other one on the right hand that'll take all this movement and put it onto the other side without 
moving that back. So that'll just go and mirror it completely. And that is very powerful as you're building poses because you think, hey, that's kind of cool. Maybe I want to do the same with the leg. So you just go and select the leg and then just go and mirror that over like so. Or you go and flip it if that is what you prefer. You can do that. Or if you want both legs back, then we go and take the leg that is currently back here, select that and move that over to the other side as well, like so. And then she looks like she's kind of you know, flying through the air. So it's a really handy little tool. And once you've made your adjustments, you can go and save these things out as new post presets if you need to do that. So for me, it's an invaluable part of the workflow because it's just so, so convenient. I usually have it up here all the time.